So like the biggest thing that you'll see when fans become upset with an artist is when they do something that like directly contradicts what the fans think that they know of him which yeah. is maybe what like Tory Lanez is going through right now where it's like oh shit we thought that you were great with women and now we find out that maybe you shot a woman and that is pretty bad so pretty bad here we are yeah on the scale of bad to pretty bad it's pretty bad <laughs> <laughs> the scale of bad it could be bad. worse well now now she said that he shot her in both feet so now everybody's wondering like what is this guy a fucking crazy gunslinger her. pow pow like shoot both feet that's some extra shit i think it's just I gonna be something it. that like we won't fully understand like until a couple months like more information comes out yeah i just feel bad for meg though like she seemed no, like really sure. hurt it's not really in her interest to like air the whole situation out right yeah. now and you kind of wonder when that's gonna happen and also the other and people investigation the right legal now. process yeah. and everything but she did say like i'm not protecting anybody that was like mm -hmm. one of the things that she said which would seem to have been a change of heart because when she first came out she yeah. was saying oh i cut my foot on the glass etc now she's saying i'm not protecting anybody it kind of makes you wonder like oh shit like has something very significant changed in her mind i think she probably just realized like oh fuck he's actually really trying to hurt me but in the moment it's like i don't know maybe she in the moment did, she didn't work out all her feelings of like anger and like frustration and like at that moment she I don't know she was like dating this guy whatever and like maybe she thought at that moment she had to protect him I don't know you're so used to your whole life thinking like oh I'm not gonna snitch when exactly. it comes down to it and maybe she just like was sticking with that in her head and now that she's had a couple days or weeks to process she's starting to think angry. like why the fuck would I save this guy's ass Hell like no. may maybe legally I'll take the time to not say anything so that he doesn't end up going to jail but then in the long run like publicly why the fuck would i not be honest about this and right especially because like thank god it missed her fucking i don't know tendons, tendons or ligaments yeah. or whatever the fuck or you bone. call it yeah, and yeah, like she yeah. could yeah. perform again but if he was to like fucking paralyze her for life like imagine she was walking around with a peg for a while that was so and people crazy. love her for her dancing and her performances so that would just be peg the stallion no <laughs> it'd be so hard not to make Yo, that joke no, no. i'm just saying like if she did have a peg leg like I mean, that joke, like, her name rhymes with Peg. That's <laughs> kind of fucked up, no? All right. Um, <laughs> um, no. No, but luckily that, that didn't happen. I think this is exactly happen. what she didn't want, the fucking stupid jokes. Mm. Right. Yeah, that's just going to happen these days, though, you know? If you don't die, then people are just going to find True. a way to make nah, jokes about it. No, but then that makes absolutely no sense, because if she died, it would be, like, R.I.P. And, like, and so mm. much sadness and you know no what jokes. I, you know what else I saw? I saw it was, like, oh, 50 Cent, someone who... Has been shot nine times and survived it is like is the nigga who made a joke about her being shot but, do you think but, i'm gonna be blind because i have this shit in my eye yes especially if you eat it no but this is the thing is That's i don't weird. i don't like the idea that like oh something really bad happens so we're not allowed to joke about it joking is how people deal with things that but are not, really bad not when you're the butt of the joke I mean, yeah, but we're gonna. Everybody else's dialogue about a celebrity is supposed to be changed because of what they might think. I don't really agree with that. Like the idea, like, okay, have you ever been in the situation where somebody you know gets killed, yes. and there's just hours and hours of like sadness, and nobody, like, yep. there's no happiness to be found, and then somebody actually fucking makes a joke or says something funny that kind of like pokes fun at the situation, and it's such a relief to finally like have mm -hmm. somebody just acknowledge that yes, we are all sad as fuck about this but maybe we could still find the humor in it i think that like now you just see that process sped up because you have strangers immediately making jokes about things that are super serious but it, it just feels kind of like i mean yeah maybe if you're 50 cent you should resist the urge because you're massively okay. famous and you have yeah. a huge platform uh but you know it's kind of weird though it's like people make jokes about stuff where obviously they didn't they don't want that thing to happen and then they have to apologize for making a joke that they genuinely did think was funny when they made it but then it's, it's like, but then it's like people are like, oh, like let's pray for Kanye West and let's, um, you know, like up uphold this male figure. And then it's like, oh, let's make fun of this woman who who has been physically mm. assaulted. But I don't really like the thing of like, oh, let's let's not talk down on Kanye West because he's going through mental illness. Like you're telling me that you don't think Donald Trump is going through some kind of mental illness. It's just not as obvious. What because does that have we, to do with anything? That everybody talks shit about Trump. And it, nobody gives a fuck about the fact that he clearly has something deeply wrong with his brain. Okay. I feel like that's more psychological than like neurological with with Kanye, where it's like a physical like condition in your mind. I get that, but at the same time, like everybody who is a shitty person or a fucked up person or says anything crazy or whatever, it's like you could probably ultimately chalk it up to some degree of mental illness. So it's like if you're gonna shoot Kanye that bail at a time like this, where he's like clearly hurting his family and like saying things that are upsetting everybody in his life, 
how like how are we just gonna say oh he's he's going through mental illness how can you talk down on him it's like I no he's saying crazy it's, shit it's, we're gonna talk it's down difficult on him. to compare the two because exactly. one is one is just Kanye West if you look at his actions he's mm. not doing anything wrong he's just upset he just, about the the status of his life and the yeah. pressures that he's, not he's been people. dealing with the past yeah of versus course he's somebody hurting people he's hurting his family he's hurting yeah, his wife he's, not, he's talking he's, about how he wanted that, to kill I think his that's daughter like a, that's a personal issue as opposed to like the president of the fucking United States hurting like actual groups of people. Right, you know, and it's probably yeah, it's, not. It's, 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 it's not, not the fairest example because yes, Trump sucks in a way that is way more detrimental to the world than Kanye. Yeah, but I'm just everyone. saying, in terms of everybody, okay, like what if we found out that Tory Lanez was bipolar? We're not allowed to talk shit about him for having shot a woman. I but mean, it just gives more context because right now we what, have we don't even know we don't even know if he shot it. To be honest, that's true. We might end up finding something different. Right? Although I highly doubt it at this point. But but with him, it's like like it just it's just more context for the situation because right now it's framed in the narrative is. Oh, he's just this whatever. Monster. Yeah, he's this monster. But if, if he did come out and we had, he had a mental illness, it doesn't forgive the the action, but it helps us understand it better. Mm, yeah, that's, that's true. Fun. Yeah, I, with I, Kanye, I, at least like that's kind of out in the open yeah. from the beginning. The weird thing about it is that he just has so many people around him who are enabling him to continue to go through this presidential campaign to just, well, I don't know. The thing is, from working at Good Music, he just fires people that... Yeah, he right. challenges he anything that he says. Yeah. So the people that are left are, I mean, I don't know right now, but... And it seems like even the people who are helping with the political campaign are not like the people who have like an investment in his business because yeah. they would probably be the ones who would like not but be down for this whole political how thing. How do you tell Kanye no though? It's like, he's gonna do it anyways. Do would you rather, would you rather be part of helping him on his vision on the off chance it works? Yeah. Or would you rather just, you know, not do great things I would, I would probably just, that's why I wouldn't want to align myself. Cause like frequently over and over, I've been in situations where it was possible that I'd be able to basically align myself with someone who I would consider like a sociopath rapper that mm. is famous and has a lot of money. But ultimately I would then have to like deal with their fucking Shit. idiocy. What do you mean by align? Yeah. Huh? What do you mean by align? Be a part of the team. Align, mm. like work with. Okay. You never heard that word before? No, I know, but I just want to know, like, on what scale? Mm. No, but there's manage them. Okay. Or yeah, 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 yeah. There's been rappers that I could crew. manage who it was basically like I would have to then spend the entire rest of my life thinking about the acts of violence that they were gonna do mm. and the fucking crazy ass drugs that they were taking and who knows what with girls and that's that's just artists to manage. There's also mm. like there's a whole tier of artists that I feel like th there's been multiple times where I've looked at like different artists who had labels or had whatever and who really like me and I thought to myself like. If I told them that I wanted to work with them on the label thing and like have a gig with them, and it would definitely be very beneficial to me to like make m myself a part of their operation, mm -hmm. but it would basically just be me having to sort of like turn off the part of my personality where I'm like a boss and be able to be in control of my own shit. And then I would just have to be sort of like normalizing somebody who's an asshole or, or crazy or whatever. You but know? Kanye is different. He's not out here like, Talking crazy, like I'm about to go into the street with my ATVs and run over a bunch of people or get into fights. The like worst thing he's doing is just saying things that the majority of people don't agree with. Yeah, yeah. but the the abortion stuff, I would want nothing to do. Like I could never but, work for Kanye because I'm not gonna be able to act like it's all good. The shit that he's saying about abortion, saying about Trump, saying about God, I wouldn't be able to be along for it. Yeah, so yeah. that's just me personally. Well, that's <clears throat> that's the whole argument is like the people that are. That are, that are on his team and that are helping him out is like they're pretty much doing it for their own benefit of like what they can get mm. out of working with Kanye West or being aligned with Kanye West. Or, or if you work for Yeezy or you're involved with like designing clothes and everything like that, I'm sure it's a great gig and I'm sure that Kanye running around acting like he's running for president probably. <laughs> like Adidas would not be in business with him unless they were able to essentially compartmentalize the business so mm -hmm. that he's not able to like derail the business because some of the things that he's been saying like on the road the campaign trail mm -hmm. about like you know this is how my deal with adidas is going to work now and stuff it's mm. just it's pretty obvious that he's not actually going to be able to institute those changes into like the boardroom setting of adidas and stuff but it needs to be that way in order for him to be able to work with these corporations i would assume yeah i mean you never know man he he has the the power over there of like reviving their whole brand and like helping their fucking stocks go up and shit like that he might be able to have the power to be able to make some of those moves happen now that was the whole thing with him and nike was that he wasn't getting no royalties he wasn't they getting none of that they wasn't yeah. giving him no no type of sauce so and it was only adidas who are like the clear number two at that time who exactly. were able to be like okay 
we actually realize the value of what you're bringing to the table, so we will actually put up with whatever insanity that you are. They wouldn't even let him like Nike wouldn't even let him design his own um, like silhouette after, mm. like so. That makes sense. Yeah. So, I um I was actually the dude Thursday night at 9 p.m. like refreshing no, Spotify and, I, and <laughs> Apple Music, oh like thinking, oh. because the reason why too is because me and Lana went to a restaurant on Thursday, which I have not done in LA in very, very, you very outside? many Where'd months. You go? I forget what it was called, but we were outdoors. It was like Beverly Hills. It's like they had a whole indoor area, but it was closed. So it was just mm -hmm. the outside area. It was maybe only like 10 people. Like all the waiters had masks. Everybody involved had masks. You had to wear a mask if you went to the bathroom. You only took the mask off to eat. So it felt like they take your temperature on the way in. Yeah. So it felt like a very safe environment. But then we're leaving, and I'm thinking, I'm like, as soon as I walk in that door, she's going to make me watch The Sopranos with her because that's what <laughs> we've been doing is watching The Sopranos every night. But I'm like, if I can get this Kanye album loaded on my phone, as we're leaving, uh, then I can convince her to drive around with me for an hour and listen to this album before we go home. And uh, the album did not show up. And also, the Ski Mask album didn't show up, so instead we listened to the Taylor Swift album, which is very good. Oh, Someone tried to get me to listen to that. I was like, I'm not listening to that. Oh, it was great. Yeah, I actually really enjoyed the new it. Album? Yeah. Did you talk about Kanye at all? It's a black metal album. Wait, what? No way. No, that's, what, they, it, that's yeah. what they say in the album <laughs> cover looks like. Uh, I've been listening to... I, I, I mean, I'm not... I don't know that much about pop music or her, but it, it seems... Very good. And I've been reading those. It's got really good reviews. Hey, this has been another episode of the No Jumper Show. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you want to support, like, comment, subscribe, and go to nojumper.com. Get yourself a kendama or a t-shirt or something. Appreciate y'all.